So why do you not want an electric field that's uniform in strength? Well, because, I mean, if we have an electric field that's not uniform in strength, such as the ones we've been talking about so far, then it's kind of a bit hard to do experiments nicely because depending on how far you are, you're just going to get different. So if you've got something moving through here, it's going to get a weaker force here, then it's going to get a stronger force here, and then a weaker force there. And if we're trying to do an experiment, that's not a very good thing. Mm -hmm. When we're doing experiments, we want to be able to control variables. Mm -hmm. So we do want to be able to control how to the strength of an electric field and make it uniform. And so the way we do that is quite simple, actually. We use two parallel plates. Mm -hmm. And we basically apply a voltage to it. So this distance here between your plates is called T. This is going to supply some sort of voltage. And we find that if you have two parallel plates, this of course is the positive end of the battery. This is the negative end of the battery. And these, these two plates are not connected. So what that means then is if you connect this battery, there's no current flowing here, but that means that the positive will pull out the electrons from this plate. So that will leave this with a positive charge, which is spread evenly on that plate. And this negative end will pump in electrons into this part. So this will be negatively charged. And then because you've got a positive charge and a negative charge here, then what basically ends up happening is you get an electric field being created, but because the charge is evenly spread here and evenly spread here, basically you just get a uniform electric field between the two. Mm -hmm. So to be clear, it's uniform between the two plates. Once you start leaving the plate, it you know loses its uniformity a bit. But that, we don't care about that too much because we'll just do the experiment somewhere in the middle of the plates where it is uniform. Mm -hmm. Should it be clear? Mm -hmm. How do we create an electric field that is uniform in strength? Well, very simple. We use a pair of parallel conducting plates and apply a voltage to the plates. That's how we do it. Yeah. Now, that's great and all, but we want to be able to do calculations. And we would calculate the electric field strength here as E equals V over D. So E is the electric field strength. which in this situation, you know, the appropriate unit will be volts per meter. V is the voltage measured in volts, and D is the distance between the plates. In meters. Mm -hmm. So, now we know, and you won't need to know how to calculate the electric field strength of particles for your course, although it's not hard, but it's just not required. So now we're going to, we're, now that we've calculated the electric field strength of this, we're going to think about how we can calculate the force exerted on a charged particle by an electric field. So Coulomb's law lets you work out the magnitude of the force based on the charges on two different particles. But here we don't have a particle. We just have plates. So we need to use a different formula for that. 
Okay. So what we're now going to be looking at next is how do we calculate the force on a particle in an electric field?